gasoline I smell? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you all are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today guys I want to talk about requels and why we don't need requels. Now I was really thinking like how to, how to uh, structure this video and what to talk about and I just feel like that we need to go back to 2018 because in 2018 a movie came out called Halloween. Uh, and it was a reboot, you know, and I gotta say that the movie was pretty damn good, but it sort of spawned this new wave of doing requels in uh, in different horror franchises. And I'm kind of getting tired of it, and I don't think that we need requels. Now, for those of you that don't know, but I think that most of you know, requel is... A sequel but also a reboot so usually you'll have new characters new story but because it's a sequel usually to the first movie in that certain franchise you'll have some legacy characters in the movies to make it a sequel you know a requel so yeah that's that and we had a lot of requels uh, in, in the past like four years so for example uh, Scream 2022 that's a really good example you know uh, we had new cast, new story, but we had some legacy characters returning, like uh, Dewey and, uh, you know, everyone. And uh, uh, we had some new characters, new story, and they were sort of connected together into uh, a requel. What I don't like about requels is that, for example, the titles, the titles of requels. So we have Halloween. 2018, but we also have Halloween 1978. We have Scream 2022, but we also have Scream uh, 1996. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird, and I don't like this. Like, try to come up with a title other than just you know naming it like the original. You know, that's my first issue with this movie. With like requels overall now i'm not saying that requels are, are like bad overall but all i'm saying is that i'm getting kind of tired of requels you know and i'm gonna talk about why uh in a second but i just want to mention just a few more examples for example the craft legacy if you if you know that movie it came out like a year ago and it was like a reboot of the craft but with the ending scene, it was essentially uh, a requel. Really weird. We also got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the new Netflix Texas Chainsaw Massacre that came out this year. And in that, you have... And I think that's the most, like, bad example of how not to do a requel. Because that movie could have been just a reboot. But they decided to put Sally in the movie, the original survivor of the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, but the problem is that the actress that portrayed Sally in the original died in 2015. So what they did, because they wanted to have a legacy character in the movie, they uh, essentially uh, recasted her and g they got some new actress to portray, an, uh, uh, to portray Sally, right? And that was so fucking in insulting. Like, that's so fucking in insulting to... Uh, the original actress because why would you even do that like I get it you want to if you have the original actors and they want to return and you want to do a requel that's fine I get it all right but uh, it, 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 when in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 it was so fucking stupid because it wasn't that actress you know so I was like, why? Why? Where, what's the point of that? And I feel like that they were very much inspired by Halloween 2018 and the way, you know, it did uh, its requel movie, uh, its requel idea. So, yeah, that's that. And now I want to talk about why we don't need requels. Why I don't think that we need requels. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that they are bad. Again, I'm just saying I don't think we need them anymore, you know? I saw the movie uh, Hellraiser when it came out, uh, the new Hellraiser, I saw it the day it came out on Hulu, and I love the movie. I really do love the movie. 
it's amazing, it's really well done, and it's a reboot, it's not a requel, you don't have any original characters or, or you know, actors returning, uh, even, you know, Doug Bradley has pinheaded, he's not a pinhead in this movie, because he's not in the movie at all, you have uh, Jamie Clayton as pinhead, and she's fantastic in the movie, but... I really enjoyed that, you know, there are no legacy characters in the movie, it's just a fresh new start. And that's what I like, you know, and, and I was like, yeah, this, this, is, this works, this is great. You know, I'm really enjoying this. I don't need, uh, you know, some legacy characters to return. This works really well, you know, and you have Jason Blum that wants to revive Nightmare on Elm Street, and he was talking about how he wants to do a requel for Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm like, stop, please. Can we do original movies and not, you know, making requels with your older cast? It's just, I don't know. I have to say again, when I saw Hellraiser, I was like, this feels fresh. I don't, you know, I don't feel like we need requels anymore. And you might disagree with me. That's fine. I get it. And again, I'm not saying that requels are bad, you know, I'm just saying that I'm kind of tired of requels and I kind of just want to see reboots of horror movies and not just requels, you know? So yeah, this was my little rant about requels. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about requels down below. I really want to know if you like requels, if you don't like requels. Let me know down below, guys. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next one, guys. Take care, as always, and bye.